So we are going to redo these hip and ridge caps here. We're just going to drill through the rivets and pull them off. And <clears throat> we'll have some new material for the hips and ridge caps and install them on there. Uh, the issue that we have, there's a little bit of rippling going on. That's because these hips were bent for a three on 12 pitch roof for the, for the ridge caps. And <clears throat> as you can see in the drawing here, they should have bent, that bottom one there is what they actually got bent at, 150 degrees or 30 degrees, i.e. split that in half, 15 degrees is the slope that it got bent at. A 15 degree slope is the same as an eight on, is the same as a three on 12. So for an eight on 12 ridge cap on the top right, um, <clears throat> an eight on 12 slope is 35 degrees, which as you see, when you multiply by two, to get the total, it's 70 degrees. Subtract from 180, you get 110 degrees is that interior angle that the ridge cap will need to get bent at. Now, the ridge will actually be a different measurement of angle than the hip. The hip is the top left, and the slope of, say, this one leg right here, that slope is not gonna be eight on 12, even though the, the, the roof is eight on 12 since it's at a funny angle, it ends up being exactly the same slope as going up that as if you were walking straight up that hip there, which for eight on 12 roof ends up being a uh, <clears throat> five and 11 sixteenths on 12 angle, which translates to 25 degrees. Um, and so if you multiply 25 by two, you get, 50 degrees there, subtract from 180, you find that that interior angle is 130. So see the difference between the two, you've got 110 degree interior angle, which is ends up being a, a tighter bend than for the hip cap, which is 130 degrees. So we're gonna buy eight of the hip caps, one of the ridge, and just pop those off and redo it where it'll be a cleaner look. Um, but basically your math to find that angle is just take 180 degrees and subtract two times the perpendicular slope angle. So basically whatever the slope angle here, which here it's a five and 11 sixteenths on 12, i.e. 25 degrees. And over there it's an eight on 12, i.e. 35 degrees um, for, that, for the ridge. So just an interesting little thing to know. Now we know how to do it. And while we're on this subject, uh, how we found the angle to bend and cut off right there is <clears throat> going to be a little bit different concept. It's going to be, you take the, uh, for an eight on 12 roof, you have a five and 11 sixteenths on 12 hip, but for this other triangle, it ends up being a 14 and seven sixteenths on 12 angle and I have a table on my article how to measure for a re-roof on Caldwell's uh, yeah if you search for that plus Caldwell's you'll find it but anyways there's a table that gives you all these angles but it's a 14 and 7 16 on 12 which ends up being a 50 degree angle and so it's it's that angle see where it says greater than 45 that's the one that's 50 degrees and this angle here where it's cut off is 40 degrees and uh, so anyway, so just using three separate triangle angles, you can find exactly what you need to cut that off. Like we built these on the ground. Um, we bent that, we cut it off and bent it. And that part's perfectly fine. So just using that math of those three triangles, you can find <clears throat> what you need to bend and cut that off at. You can find also what the metal supplier needs to bend that hip angle at. And uh, <clears throat> both for the hip and then alternatively for the ridge, which is a slightly different angle. But the rest of this roof was three on 12 hips. So that's why I just overlooked specifying that some of the hip and ridge need to be different. Okay, all right, we're gonna show you some stuff, some angles, how to find them. We have a eight on 12 roof above us and that's 35 degrees and the hips will be 8 on 17 or 5 and 11 16 on 12 which is 25 degrees 
That's that angle right here, pretended with the ground coming up to there. This angle here from there up to there is the eight on 12, which is 35 degrees. All right, and then we have a third angle, which is from here to there, that angle there, which that's what you wanna find if you're gonna be cutting off this hip, the metal hip at the bottom of the roof. So the way we found it is I just go to an article that I wrote called How to Measure for a Re-Roof. Uh, it's got my name, Brad Caldwell, so if you search for all that, you'll find it. And it tells you that for an eight on 12 slope roof, this hip is five and 11 sixteenths on 12. It also tells you this angle here is 14 and 7 sixteenths on 12, which is 50 degrees. And you can use a construction calculator to translate between those two. But, so that angle there is 50. This angle is always gonna be greater than 45 that you leave on the metal. You always cut off on the bottom less than 45. If this is a perfectly flat roof, these angles would be different, but it would, uh, <clears throat> you'd end up cutting off exactly 45 degrees. But as you get steeper and steeper, you're gonna be cutting off less and less of the metal until you get to a completely vertical roof, which would be a wall, you wouldn't cut off anything at all. Um, <clears throat> we also have this angle that's pretended from here to there. That's the angle that the manufacturers need to bend the hip cap at. And that is gonna be the same basic angle as if you're walking up this hip. So that's a 25 degree, same thing as a five to 11 16 on 12 or an eight on 17. That angle there, pretended there, is also be the same angle as pretended from here up to flat. And then again, from here up to this other plane of this roof. Now, if you take that 25 degrees, subtract it once from 180, twice from 180, uh, you get 180 minus 50 degrees gives you this angle here is 130 degrees. So when they bend that hip, they've got that. And that's this interior bend here. So again, that formula is 180 degrees minus two times perpendicular slope. So like, what is this slope right here, which is gonna be the same thing as that slope there. 25 degrees. Um, that angle up there is 40 degrees. You're cutting off 40 off the bottom, leaving 50 down here. And that's eight on 12 slope going there, going here, five and 11 sixteenths on 12. Okay. All right, so we're gonna show you a couple things here. First of all, how did we know what angle the supplier needed to bend this hip cap at? And also in the distance, you can see that ridge cap is bent even tighter. So the ridge cap, let's just walk over here. We have an eight on 12 roof that we're going on. And so basically you have eight on 12 from here up to flat. And then you have another eight on 12 from there up to this plane here. Uh, eight on 12 is 35 degrees. So 35 degrees from there to there, 35 from there to there. That means this interior angle right there is 180 minus 70, which is 110 degrees. So this is a tighter angle by 20 degrees than these hip caps. The hip caps tend to be flattened out a little bit relative to the ridge cap. So on the hip caps, we have this angle here is gonna be the same as if you're, this angle here is if you're walking up the line of the hip, which is uh, eight on 17. Because anytime you have your slope of your roof, eight on 12, if you replace 10 with 17, you get exactly what that hip is, unless it's a switch pitch roof. So eight on 17 translates to the same thing as five and 11 sixteenths on 12. So this slope here, it's 5 and 11 sixteenths on 12 once it actually gets installed. This angle here is the same thing because you can imagine coming up here or coming up here. This could be another hip right here. So this slope will be the same as that slope there, which again is 5 and 11 sixteenths on 12 or 8 on 17. Now, in terms of degrees, that's 25 degrees. So we're talking from here up to flat is 25 degrees from flat up to this other plane here is another 25 degrees. That's a total of 50 degrees right there. Now, 
going from here all the way back is 180. So if we do 180 minus 50, we get 130 degrees here. So if you remember, the ridge cap over there was 110 degrees, which is a tighter bend, closer to 90 degrees. This one here, 130 degrees on the interior. Now, what we did originally on this roof is I forgot that this was a different pitch than the other one. So we had three on 12 uh, roof ridge caps. And so they were even flatter than this. And when we installed it, it put just a little bit of waviness in there. So that's why we're going back and changing them out. Um, we're also gonna show you how to find this angle, how to cut it off. Because you can actually do that on the ground before you even get it on the roof at all. All right, so for an eight on 12 roof, you have 14 and 11 sixteenths, I believe on 12. So a little bit more than a 45 is actually a 50 degree angle. And that's this angle right here. It's gonna be 50 degrees. This angle here, 40 degrees because 90 minus 50 gives you 40. This of course down here, it's a 90 degree angle. But this triangle here for an eight on 12 roof, we said the hip is five and 11 sixteenths on 12. And this third triangle that shows you what to cut this off is going to end up being, I'll we'll just call that triangle three, it's gonna end up being, uh, I think it's 14 and some change on 12. So basically you got 35 degrees, 25 degrees, and then this one here ends up being 50 degrees. Now, <clears throat> That 50 degrees is this angle here. So you cut off the smaller angle, 40 degrees, and leave the bigger angle, 50 degrees, right here. And the way you can visualize that is if this was a completely flat roof and we put a hip on it anyways, this angle would become a 45, just a perfect 45 degree angle. As you can see, it would be, okay, it would be more like that right there. So it would cut off more. And as you increase the pitch of the roof, you're cutting off less and less of this metal. So if you imagine going to an almost vertical roof and look down at the bottom, you'll see that if I were to come way up high, we wouldn't have to cut off hardly any of the metal. It might be like a 85 degrees left on and five degrees cut off. So that's how you can find that angle of what to cut your bottom. Okay, John.